Good evening. Today, I tried to make a floating ghost bird for my Halloween display. The entire goal is to have a pet cemetery on my front porch. The pet cemetery features three domestic pets, a dog, a cat, and a rat. And also, uh, I thought I would throw in a bird. And so in order to make the bird fly, I purchased a spinning display. And the spinning display wasn't as fast as I had hoped it would be. And that makes sense because when you're displaying something, you want it to be nice and slow. To display, uh, not to potentially make a bird ghost have flowing skirts, which is what I was hoping for. I was hoping, well, actually, I can show you what I was hoping for. <laughs> that being said, I'm still gonna use it. It's gonna be floating eerily in the background. It's just a visual wallpaper. Yeah, so here is the end result. Okay, so I used this little wooden puck with some dog hair on it because I didn't want to actually glue anything to my turnstile because I wanna use my turnstile again. I don't want it to just be like some ghost bird display. I attached a piece of foam so that the dowel would have clearance from the turnstile so that whatever table I was sitting it on, it wouldn't hit the table. I wrapped some black ribbon around it to help secure it into place, and then I colored it with Sharpie because I don't like to wait for paint to dry. This is what it looked like at the end. I actually made the dowel shorter so that the weight would be more evenly distributed. And then I attached a ping pong to the end and then some fluff on top of that just to make the head. Then I put his little beak on. And then his eyes. I'm going for a 1930s rubber hose cartoon look. So that's why I'm doing the pie eyes. I put a comb on its head, but maybe that's the joke because it's a flightless bird and now it can fly as a ghost. This did not turn out how I pictured it. Let me just open the oven here and pull out this failed pie. Mm, oh yes. I figured it out. You've got the center of it. It's right here. And you've got something heavy making it tip this way. So why not? another one of those things on the other side. I needed to add another bird. Okay, just for looks, I'm gonna make a bird cage and I'm gonna make it out of craft foam so that just in case the birds bump into it, it won't affect the spin on the turnstile. This is the end result. It's very abstract. There is no bottom to it. For added effect, I'm making a little in-memoriam portrait of the recently deceased pets. And this is my favorite part, getting into character for the final reveal. Uh, this is a character, I'm gonna call her Gertrude. And I really wanted to cover up the eyebrows because I wanted cartoon eyebrows. Uh, it actually was surprisingly easy to get the liquid latex off of my eyebrows. All I did was use spirit gum remover and regular makeup remover. These are some cartoony lines that I'm putting on my face with an eyeliner pen. And then of course you gotta have the wrinkles because Gertrude is elderly. She's a spinster. Here's the cartoon eyebrows I'm putting above my eyebrows because you're not actually gonna see my eyebrows.
If you did, consider liking it and subscribing to it and waiting with bated breath for the next video.